Uh, hello, everybody. I am Mark, and I've got a little bit of a cold, so I'll apologise in advance if I sound all sniffly. And here's Chris. Say hello, Chris. Hello. This is the Alpha 6 video for Prison Architect coming at you in January. Just We just managed to get it out in January. We know there's been a little bit of a delay, but Christmas came along, and Chris actually had a bit of a holiday this year, which is um, unusual for him. So, anyway, exciting times, mate. Yeah, very exciting times. Big changes. Well, hopefully big changes anyway. Have you broken it all? I've I've probably have broken the game quite heavily, so we have to prepare ourselves for that. Okay. Um, I think the first thing that I will show is uh, me turning off the fog of war, just so I can demonstrate things. Um, you will notice in our test prison that some of our prisoners are different colours to each other. Oh, uh, yes they right. are. Yeah. Now, what yes, this yeah, is, yeah. is... Um, for the first time ever, we now have categories of prisoner, right? We yes. have we have the guys in uh, red jumpsuits. These are maximum security prisoners, high risk, very dangerous. Uh, the guys yeah. in orange. These are the guys that used to exist. These are just the normal gen pop. Gen pop, yeah. Gen pop, yeah. And then the grey guys. You'll notice these guys that look a little bit wimpier. These are the minimum security. Well, I don't mean to create a backlash, but he looks a bit like Jesus. Yeah, interesting. Oh. oh. Sorry about that. So, um, what was I saying? I was talking about these three different categories of prisoner, wasn't I? So these guys have got different criminal histories behind them, right? So if I click on one of these prisoners now, like say this guy, Simon Cardwell, right? You can see that he is serving 15 years for armed uh, robbery. Right? 15 years. Yeah, that's, he... a, that's a hard sentence. He's served 5.6 5, 5. years so far. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, and you can just tell as well that... Um, there's a red section to his sentence and a blue section, and the blue section is his parole period. So, it means he's eligible for parole. Yeah, exactly. So within a couple of years, he's going to be eligible for parole if he's been a good boy, basically in prison. And hang on, he, had he already served 24 years? He's there, served, there was... So yes, this is a previous conviction for armed robbery, right? right? Funny enough, right? It's the, he didn't learn his lesson. 24 his years lesson. wasn't long yeah, enough. Yeah, he, he served 24 <laughs> years already. He's 53 years old. This guy, he's basically an arm, a serial armed robber. Um, if we pick another guy, maybe this guy here, attempted murder. Some of these guys here, this is a nice one. This guy is currently serving 28 years ticket for murder and assaulting an officer. And yeah. He's previously served time for criminal damage and perjury. Right? And you can, perjury. You can even see their, uh, their pleas in there as well. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. if you're guilty, no, but guilty, then not guilty to perjury. Yeah, it would be exactly guilty to the criminal damage and not guilty to the. <laughs> I might be a murderer and, and break things up, but I ain't no liar. <laughs> I ain't no liar, exactly. I told the truth, but I told a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, so what you'll tend to find, of course, is that the minimum security guys, right? These like these guys tend to have a lower yeah. class of crime. Right. So this guy, money laundering and blackmail. Oh, they're still 17 you know, years. Yeah, well, they, they, they add up sense. in these cases of bribery or forgery or blackmail. You know, there yeah. there are no less severe crimes. Um, so this guy, for example, pickpocketing. You can see he's got a history, drunken disorderly behaviour, bribery, yeah. forgery. They're just less dangerous crimes, you know. It means that they're, they're yeah. less likely to kick off. They tend to be... Not crimes against the person. Yeah, exactly. Crimes against the person are what gets you the really big time. So the, these huge yeah. guys here, for example, they're always in for murders and robberies and it's not a random selection of crimes right it's actually uh, based on a set of internal traits that each prisoner has right so they right. whether they're violent or not whether they're a very dangerous individual whether they're destructive whether they're an arsonist they're kind of internal settings in, in the prisoners now is, it, is there an arsonist flag yeah. <laughs> am I an arsonist not zero or yeah, one. not so directly um, but it's more like whether they have a trait for being into that sort of thing like whether they're likely to right. be highly destructive or whether they're willing to risk life um, sure so and that's why that so their criminal histories tend to reflect that you know it's it's not completely they're not just a randomly chosen set and it's important to mention that their category is actually just an estimate right they arrive at your yeah. prison this guy's been convicted of attempted murder and got 17 years but he pleaded not guilty Right, so you can't right. actually be certain. A certain fraction of crimes they're not actually guilty of. It's a miscarriage right. of justice. So you can't be certain from this that he is actually a highly dangerous maximum security prisoner. You just think it's likely right. because that's his conviction. But you may find yeah. over time that he doesn't actually ever get into any fights or anything like that, and ultimately end right. up deciding that he's he's not necessarily that dangerous. 
And you can downgrade him. So that's you can't yet downgrade him. That's a future upgrade, right? right? For, for Alpha, Alpha 7, 7, maybe. Um, but in the case yeah. of Alpha 6, um, at the moment their categories are fixed. Just going to see how they work. Yeah, we'll see how yeah. much that affects the balance of the game. Um, yeah, nice. So uh, what else is different? Um, well, you can control the intake of prisoners. I need to just turn something off here. Let me get out open doors. That's a future feature for a future alpha that's not yet ready. Um, you can. Con One, I got an email from someone asking whether or not cheat modes in the alpha in the re in the release builds. They're no, not. No, they're are not they? in the alpha. No. And I actually ran a poll on no. it on the forums and said, uh, would you rather have new features in the game or would you rather have cheat codes and debug menus? And the overwhelming answer yeah. was new game features. So that's why. Yeah. We yeah. Absolutely. Either. Um, Absolutely. So yeah, so intake the then, right? Intake's always been a little yeah. bit broken, right? N new prisoner arrivals. Yeah. So now you can control it, right? Um, you can go to reports and you can go to prisoners, and you'll see here's our categories of prisoners now low risk, normal, oh, high. Yeah. And you'll see that we have settings yep. here for whether we're willing to receive that type of prisoner, right? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So I can say I can be closed on all three types, right? You don't, don't get, get any, any prisoners. prisoners. So it says up here prisoner intake, see in the top left. Your prison is closed yeah. to your inmates, so we won't actually receive any yeah. new prisoners now until I change that. And when you hover over them, it says fire. Oh yeah, that's because it's <laughs> I've got cheat code. Is that your new, your new on. execution you, you mode? You fire prisoners in the game. That's because it's can't... cheat code. Right, he wasn't listening. To <sighs> yeah. Uh, so and you can you know you can say oh, right, I good. only want high risk prisoners, for example. So now I'll get ten prisoners tomorrow, and they will all be maxed on security if I have that setting. And do you get paid more uh, for them? Currently you get the same amount for every prisoner, but that's an obvious thing that will be changing right. in the future. Yeah, yeah, It's a yeah, balance yeah, thing. It's yeah, like, absolutely. at the moment, I think I've totally yeah. broken the balance of the game because um, I don't know how many maximum security prisoners you should have, and I don't really know how violent they're going to be. I mean, generally speaking, yeah. the maximum security prisoners, the guys with all these extra traits, they're much more violent, they're much more dangerous. If they get into fights, they don't stop fighting until one of them's dead, basically. It's really terrible. Right. The minimum Hardcore. security guys, Hardcore. they tend to give up much earlier in the fight. And and also yeah. a lot less likely to cause trouble. They're a lot less likely to smash up their cell or start a fight or right. anything like that. So it, so it's their, it's actually their internal traits that affect that behavior rather than their category. Right. If that makes sense. Right. Um, what else can we do? Um, I've adjusted the deployment screen. So um, let's get them back in their cells. Let's say you want to segregate your prison based on category. So now you can go to deployment yep. and you can say, I want this zone here to be for maximum security prisoners only. Right? And I want this zone down here to be for minimum security. Very cool. With red and blue. Very cool. Right? Um, so red used to mean staff only, but I've made that black for now because uh, it's the colours of their uniforms. Yep, yep. And you'll see that you'll see the guards attempting sense. the fairly serious AI challenge of sorting all the prisoners based on their new cell assignments. Right. And you'll see all the right, red guys right. will start appearing in this new area that I've tagged as being max security, and all the min security yeah, guys. Nice. And not, so all these guys in orange are getting escorted out of these cells because they no longer belong in this area. Yeah, if they, yeah. um, if you don't have space. If, there's, if the maximum security area is full, then maximum security prisoners will just overflow into kind of gen pop. Gen pop is the right. white area, right? So that's the right. overflow area. Anybody that doesn't have an area, a zone, especially for them, will get reassigned. Right? Uh, so if I bring yeah. them all yeah. back to Very their, cool. uh, cells, you should see it's just it was lunchtime, so they're all out of their cells. It only affects their cell assignment at the moment. So you can't um, yeah. you can't call in the canteen and say this is a maximum security canteen. That doesn't that doesn't currently work. Right, right. It only affects where they actually yeah. sleep at night. Oh, bloody hell. <clears throat> um, that is pretty much all of our new features for the game. Oh uh, no, that's good. That's good. That's that's very good. Very good. I'm looking yeah. forward to um, having a play with this, as I'm sure everyone else out there is. So if you haven't already, please visit uh, www.prison-architect.com and get involved in the alpha. This is alpha six. We're planning on doing about one a month, uh, but don't hold us to that. So get involved. If you're already involved, then we hope you really enjoy playing this alpha, and we're looking forward to hearing all your comments. Until next time, I'm signing off. Why did I say that? Because you're an That's idiot. Just and never figured out what to end. say at the end of our video. Oh, I sounded like a like a, a fucking retard. Like a That's Florida DJ or something. You know, like an old school radio DJ <laughs> smashing nice. Signing off.